Hey, this is Neil the Primal Prepper, and I wanted to do a um, little, I guess, demonstration of problems that can occur in aquaponic systems. So, one of the things about recirculating systems is that they're closed. They're, you're not getting any additional nutrients unless you put them in. So, I was out here spraying for some ants, and I noticed that some of my plants here are showing some yellowing on the leaves, or just on the edges. And generally that's going to be a sign of some sort of deficiency, whether it's iron or potassium or something. And this can happen because, you know, pretty much you're limited to whatever is in the system, it's in the water, in the feed you put in, and that's it. So if you don't have all the nutrients in there, then the plants won't have those nutrients. So in the soil, you know, you have uh, more availability, and that's one of the reasons I use soil as my, as my uh, potting medium here, just to give it those extra, um, you know, few ounces of availability for nutrients. So uh, what I just did, you can see in the sump, the water is very dark. The reason is because, or the reason is that, I just put in some liquid seaweed. Now this is a great little additive I uh, haven't put it in um, recently, which is probably why it's showing some deficiencies. Uh, it's just uh, liquefied seaweed, just like it says. And if you take a look, uh, minimum guaranteed analysis there, you got the uh, nitrogen, you got uh, potash, and it's derived from Ascophyllum nodosum seaweed. And it just, you know, the, the sea is really where all life started. So the sea water is you know, essential to pretty much everything, whether you actually eat fish to get it or whether you, um, you know, put in seaweed or whether, um, you know, you get salt from the sea in some other way. So it's, it's essential for plants as well in some sort of roundabout way. So hopefully that'll fix it. Uh, if not, I might have to add some chelated iron, uh, because that's one potential issue. Um, but yeah. So, just be aware of that whenever you're doing aquaponics, you're limited to what you put in. So make sure you put in enough to support all facets of plant life.